Gabriel Lovejoy, um, an artist, designer, educator. This uh, work um, is quite a departure for me from my normal uh, paintings. I felt like I just really needed to get a little more introspective. So this was a personal investigation into the roles that rituals and habitual behavior plays in my life and how they can kind of intertwine. Wanting to make a habit of um, certain things and then not letting those things become too mundane but keeping a, a reverence to them. In particular, a couple of the pieces that I have down there are giant um, gold structures and I call those uh, gilded bags of failures. And so if you think about the, the you know, the skeletal remains that are involved in those big bags of failures, um, they represent more than just the animal that once was, they also represent everything in life that you go through that once was and as you evolve through your journey here on this earth, um, the things that take place that you lose and then remembering those and, and tying some sort of importance to them. So the piece that's the 15 foot um, stretch of black canvas um, with Clorox dots, I was just remembering when I was a, a teenager I used to write band names and things on my, on my Converse shoes with Clorox. And so I've been doing these dots and dot pieces for a long time now and I always incorporate dots into my work and so I decided I would get this 15 foot stretch of canvas and make this more of a meditative process. So I had a Q-tip and I would dip it in the bleach and dot 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 dip it dot dot dip it dot dot. So that repetitive process almost became automatic. Through that I started realizing, especially now that I have two little children, um, <laughs> I don't get to do the exact same things every single moment of every single day like I used to. So that kind of stutter or mess up or um, kind of spilling a little bit of the bleach just kind of took that process of perfection out of it and it really allowed me to be a little bit more free making this piece. So it was not only a ritual to go into the studio and start making this night after night after night. Um, but it was also um, habitual because once it took that place about maybe 30 minutes into the making it was almost automatic and my brain didn't have to think about what I was doing anymore so then I could focus my attention while my hands were busy on thoughts of, of you know, God and self and the whole nine yards.